Lead is possibly the most notorious toxic chemical in history, and it's still in kids' environments. I'm Vicki Krause with this NC Child update. If you run a child care center or send your kids to one, regardless of the building's age, it's really important to make sure that the building and the drinking water are free from lead. Lead is toxic to the brain and the nervous system, even at very low levels of exposure. Infants and young children are especially sensitive to toxic chemicals like lead in their environments. For children, lead exposure can lead to learning disabilities, behavioral issues, and lower IQs. These effects can be permanent. At child care centers, it is important to consider potential sources of lead exposure. Old paint, drinking and cooking water, toys and other imported products. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, lead paint is the leading source of lead exposure among young children. If your building was built before 1978, lead paint may be present. Taking recommended steps to get lead out of your drinking water can ensure that your water lead levels get down to almost zero. Here's what you can do. First, get your water tested to find out if it contains lead. If you find lead, there are straightforward, cost-effective steps to fix it. You can use water filters, replace old plumbing fixtures. Boiling water does not prevent lead exposure. NC Child has a full video series for child care centers on how to test for lead and get rid of it. You can also get help from the North Carolina Childhood Lead Poisoning Prevention Program. For NC Child, I'm Vicki Krause.